Hey everyone, and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about Chi-Square. And we're going to do the first of a Chi-Square double series. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about goodness of fit. And in the next video, we'll be talking about test of independence. As always, I'm using the latest build of Jamovi for Max. Uh, recently updated for general bug fixes and improvements to version 1.6.7 as of recording. So let's jump into it with some data. Okay, so here we are with some data. I opened up the randomness under uh, the data library and learning statistics with Jamovi book. And we are do using the randomness data set. And you can see that it's for chi-square discussions because of how the data is set up. And so we are going to use the randomness data set for both the uh, goodness of fit and test of independence videos. Okay, so let's look at it. So we have 200 subjects. S-U-B-J uh, 1 through 200 is the subject. And here we have their first choice, what suit of the card that they got and then their second choice and what suit of card that they got so uh, for this tutorial we're either gonna focus on choice one or choice two I'm probably just gonna throw choice one into the calculation here so let's go to the module here we are do it under frequencies uh, because this is categorical data and that's why we are doing the uh, chi-square tests so we go to frequencies and in a previous video I talked about how you would do a binomial test but here we are gonna do n outcomes which tells you the chi-square goodness of fit Now this is a very simple little module we're just gonna put one of the variables in here and if you had counts already lined up in a smaller data file then you could put it there you can see that the counts are optional so let's go ahead and put choice one in there and we'll auto fill and auto populate the proportions so the whole number counts for our suits clubs diamonds hearts and spades for choice one and then we get our chi-square goodness of fit uh, statistic down here we get our chi-square statistic our degrees of freedom it's uh, how many uh, choices you have minus one so that's three and then we get a p-value and that's generally speaking all you need to make a goodness of fit argument here now this test is significant which means that our observed counts are different from our expected counts so we get accounts and we get our proportions now you can come over here and quickly uh, check expected counts and it will give you the observed expected uh, values here now spades no issues there we over observed our uh, hearts selections we were fine with diamonds and we under observed our clubs okay so you would imagine that's why an over observation and an under observation of two of the four suits as to why this is potentially a um, good fit uh, we have additional options here and um, we can change the ratio of of what we were expecting in their proportions so um, out of 200 uh, that's why this is 50 50 50 you can change how many you were expecting now uh, this would depend on some a priori setup for the uh, card polls which I am not privy to so I'm just gonna leave them as 0.25 but if I change this to 2 watch what happens so these all become 20% and now the clubs becomes 40% and you can clearly see that uh, clubs was undercounted here, right? Um, and we get a far bigger statistic about the fit of our uh, not, not getting what we expected to happen. And that is how you do a proportion test or a chi-square goodness of fit in Jamovi. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you like this content and are looking for more, please hit subscribe, leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. Thanks for watching.